Welcome back everyone to another Weather at a Glance video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about an upcoming severe weather pattern that will be affecting the central United States. So this is going to be a classic severe weather pattern because as you know, Tornado Alley exists in these areas that I have outlined here. And really, this is where this pattern is going to be taking place because we have very warm air out in the west with that PNA pattern. And we have colder air evecting down from the north into the northeast and to the, into the um, central US, as well as humid air coming in from the southeast to moving into that region so um this is going to be very interesting um a classic severe weather event we haven't had one like these in a very long time so this is very exciting and very concerning at the same time so um let's not hesitate anymore and let's get right into the video All right, and on our first slide, you can see that this is our t CFS temperature outlook. And basically, I'm showing you how um, what the temperatures are looking like for the next month or so. So here you can see we have very warm temperatures down in the, um, the portions of Texas as into the 80s and the 90s. And this is going to be feeding up into the Tornado Alley region. And this is really going to be feeding those storms as we have very warm, moist air and very warm temperatures as well, um, along with that unstable upper level cold air that's evecting from the north. So this is all going to be causing very um, interesting conditions, very unstable atmosphere. So again, we have very warm temperatures right here. Um, we have very um, warm, moist air right around here um, with those Cape values, as well as upper level cold air moving down from the um, north northern Canada area. So this is really going to be fueling those storms. It's going to have a very unstable atmosphere in this region. All something you're going to want to look out for um, in the Tornado Alley region. This is a very classic pattern that will be going on till about the um, middle of May. So from now till the middle of May, so a couple weeks or so, but definitely something that's going to look very interesting and is going to be very interesting for all you storm chasers out there. Something um, that you probably are going to be looking forward to because 2020 was a bust for all of you. So um, stay tuned for the next slide because we're going to get into that moisture. All right, and you can see that, wow, we have a lot of moisture evecting up north into Tornado Alley. Um, of course, the dry air is right around um, in the west where it should be for all this to take place. You have those dry lines, those very powerful dry lines um, pushing eastward into Tornado Alley. And uh, there's very mo warm, moist air um, through portions of the Tornado Alley region, through Texas, up into Nebraska, and in even into the Dakotas. That's something that you're going to want to look out for in there. Um, Louisiana still in that threat and even portions of Arkansas um, as these storm systems and these low pressure systems move eastward this will be giving a southeastern um, threat as well but not as severe with those tornado threats because of the troughing motion in the um, jet stream from these low pressure systems that will be sending southward and ascending northward um, throughout the Northeast, maybe causing a couple of nor'easters with those cold temperatures, but not really part of the video because we're focusing on the severe weather pattern. Very exciting and very concerning as well. All right. And now we're looking at our um, precipitable water. And basically this is showing you how much water is able to be turned into precipitation. So really evaporation is really a big effect um, from this forecast um, template. And you can see that we definitely do have a a lot of precipitable water here down in Texas. Um, these purples indicate about 1.75 inches of precipitable water. So maybe you've just had your rainfall and all that evaporates up into the atmosphere. And this is really going to be feeling those storms with the more precipitable water there, um, the, the better mo warm, moist air for to feel these storms. And everything's setting in place, those cold temperatures. And look at all of this moisture that's really evecting from the Gulf up into these areas. That's really just going to be flinging itself as these low pressure systems up north um, suck all this warm moist air up into the north it's really going to be feeling storm systems throughout the um, tornado alley and it's really going to give a very interesting setup um, so all you storm chasers uh, make sure to start doing your forecast because this is going to be a very interesting couple of weeks for all of you um, hope you get some exciting things and i hope everybody stays safe as well usually not too many people live throughout tornado alley so um, nothing that really anybody who lives here is going to have to worry about very wide open area unlikely that you'll get hit by anything but um uh, definitely something very interesting for all of you um, storm lovers out there. So get ready because this is going to be a very interesting pattern coming up. 
All right, and now we're looking at our vorticity again. This is the CFS long range forecast model. And um, you can see with these low pressure systems, we have a very um, wide range of rotation here. Um, like I said before, nor'easter type situations as these low pressure systems move eastward. And um, you can see that these troughs right here, um, as these low pressure systems, we'll wait for this guy to catch up into Tornado Alley. And you can see that these troughing uh, motions really are gonna um, cause the wind speeds, as the pressure gets tighter, the wind speeds are going to accelerate rate and that's really going to cause um, prime shear for these storms to develop definitely need shear shear is a very important part for these storms development so this is really going to be feeding those setups um, uh, definitely in Iowa you could definitely expect some storm systems up there um, we're getting into our summertime patterns now where summertime severe weather events kind of start to kick up I know it's only late April but um, once you get into May and June that's where you start to amp up those northern severe weather events we're going to start seeing less and less of those southern severe weather events and more and more of those northern severe weather events so anywhere in the Oklahoma area. Uh, this is your time to shine for those storms. If you like a good storm, get ready. Um, of course, as always, make sure you're ready. Have your NOAA weather radio on hand and make sure that you're always ready and um, keeping up with the weather so that you know when it's going to get bad and if it's going to harm you or um, potentially have any effect on your livestock or, you know, your family, just to make sure that you're ready and keep up with this. We'll always keep you updated here at Weather at a Glance, but um, of course, check your little local weather stations and keep in tune with your National Weather Service. All right, and now we're looking at our... Um, 500 millibar wind speeds, and this is basically showing us the mid-level jet stream. This is going to be showing us those troughing motions in the jet, um, around the low-pressure systems. And as you can see, our jet stream will be mainly coming off of California, sometimes coming off of Washington, and then it's going to slope really far south down to the Texas area and through these tornado alley um, regions as basically the low-pressure systems pass over Nebraska. And anything northward of Nebraska or southern of Nebraska, that's where you're going to have to keep an eye on these storm systems because they can have rapid development with, these, um, with this jet stream. Steering is going to be very prime with these stormed systems, and this is where it's going to get very interesting, as I've been saying throughout the video. Um, it's just, it's really surprising, such a classic severe weather um, season that we're really going to be seeing coming up. It's going to really um, finish off the season pretty interesting. Uh, so those of you who love severe weather, make sure to get out there. Um, of course, th those of you who are affected by the storms, um, make sure you're always staying focused. This is more of a video where I'm going to be discussing on what to do because these are these storms likely will be severe. Um, of course, just trying to warn everyone. I'm not trying to fear mongle or anything of that sort. Just really like to keep you all safe. Uh, that's my main reason why I do this, to keep you all updated so that I can pass on my knowledge for the better being of all of you. And... Um, so, yeah, let's get back into the scientific parts of this, and you can see that we really do have um, extreme upper or mid-level wind speeds up into about 100 knots at some time, so that's really going to be um, accelerating those uh, that's shearing, and that's really going to accelerate the storm development. So some of these storms could grow up to maybe like 50 or 60,000 feet. You never know. The cloud tops uh, could be very high. It gets some pretty interesting hail sizes, and... Um, something that all of you are going to want to pay a very close attention to throughout the upcoming weeks. And um, then it will pretty much fade out and back to peaceful weather. Nothing that you're going to have to worry about. But yeah, these next couple of weeks could be a little bit rough and rocky here. So make sure that you're staying tuned. All right. And we're checking out our Storm Prediction Center outlook just to give you an idea that this is actually happening um, as of right now. You can see that we already have that um, developing storm pattern. And um, today we even have a couple of uh, th thunderstorm outlooks. Not, no severe, but they're scattered across the region throughout here. But mainly we're focusing on tomorrow or day three, day three, which is um, Friday. And this is Friday's event. Um, I'm calling it event. It's not anything severe weather outbreak or anything of that sort. But this is Friday's um, severe weather outlook. And you can see that we do have that potential for some severe thunderstorms. Um, I definitely do think an enhanced could be brought about. It's very early for a slight risk, so now that we have this slight risk on our um, Day 3 outlook, it really is showing that we might get an enhanced risk. I really highly doubt that a moderate risk will come about, but I think we have the potential to see an enhanced risk, um, just my opinion. And so basically this is going to be where that warm, moist air is really staying um, level here and really you're going to have that low pressure system as the jet stream passes right over this region this low pressure system is going to pass more northward and you're really going to get that troughing around the jet stream uh or around the 
uh, low pressure system and you're going to get this rapid storm development right in this region um, all throughout this yellow slight risk so make sure you're all staying tuned to your national weather service they are the top dogs they know what they're talking about make sure that you're always listening to them have your NOAA weather radio handy just in case that severe weather does come about your area all right, I want to thank you all for watching today's video. Um, again, I'm trying to keep them short and sweet just so that, you know, I can keep you guys updated. Um, a big thanks to today's sor sources. We have Pivotal Weather, um, where all the forecast models in this video come from, and, of course, the National Weather Storm Prediction Center page where you just saw that outlook. They provide all those wonderful outlooks to keep you and your families informed and safe. Um, I would ask that you consider subscribing to the Weather at a Glance channel for more forecasts free of charge and consider following the Weather at a Glance Facebook page for more inside information and complimentary forecasts when you message me on my Facebook page. Again, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.